Welcome to week 11 of Sable's email series. My name is David. This week we'll take a brief look at PLM, an Icon AX solution for AX2012, showing you how we've taken advantage of AX2012's improved workflow to enhance and simplify the item creation process. This is just one short video in a series of six on PLM for AX2012. The others you will find on our websites, either Icon AX or sablesystems.com.au. Others in the series include critical path management, catalogs or lookbooks, workbooks, a feasibility costing sheet, and an item searching form. Okay, let's start by looking at the PLM creation templates. We'll look at one here called Fashion Item. As you can see, there are three um, steps. These could be because it's going through three departments, and you can edit uh, the templates and decide which fields um, go into uh, which step. You can also make them mandatory per item template. In addition, you can put record templates and you can select the companies which you want to release these items to. Next, let's look at the processing of a new item. So we click new. We select the template name that we want to create an item from. Click on the designer, enter the information that's relevant, such as the search name, the prices. Click on the barcode, create the new barcode. This information is coming from multiple tables. For those of you who are aware of AX2012, the product name is in, inside a different table here. And the select companies has been defaulted for us. We now click validate to trigger the workflow to process here. We just submit that. We'll take a look at the his, history here. Just have a look at what the workflow is doing. You can see it's been pretty quick. It's actually approved it all, already. And here's the um, approval process. Now let's take a look at the second step, which is the dimensions. And here we're just going to create the um, sizes. This is using um, the PLM um, sizes here. So once again, we'll just process that and send it off for workflow. We we'll wait a few seconds. And what we should see is once we get the refresh, we should see that this time, instead of being auto approved, it's requiring somebody to actually approve it. And here it is. This has been week 11. Next week in our final video of the series, Anthony takes us through all the, all the highlights of AX2012. In the meantime, look out for more in the PLM series on www.iconax.com and sablesystems.com.au.